Okay, so for this this video, we're going to look at the rolling game. So if we go up to the scenes and choose roll, um, and the first thing I want to do to this scene is just to change the color and to get away from the black color and give us a reasonably light color. It doesn't really matter what color, of course. Choose it if you like, um, and that'll be our background color. Um, and then we need to bring in some actors, of course. And so the actors we're going to bring in, we're going to create a new actor. And the first one we're going to bring in is the little beach ball. So I'm going to call it ball. And find the beach ball. There he is. Uh, switch to actor down the bottom here. Drag it in. And you see the ball now, it's named as the ball actor. And we can apply some attributes to the ball. The object of this game is to create a series of, well, to create a sort of a ramp that the ball slides along, gets thrown up into the air, and then drops down into some sort of uh, scoring uh, position, as, as you'll see in a minute. So, to add some attributes to the ball, first thing we're going to do to the ball is to change its size. Right now, the size of the ball is 250 by 250. Uh, we probably need to get around 40 by 40. You can always change the size of it later on if uh, you don't like the size of it. You can always adjust the size of, the, of this character um, a bit later. 40 by 40 might be a good place to start. And we're going to uh, control this ball's physics. Um, because this is a physics based game. So if we scroll right down to the bottom there, there should be a tab called physics. Um, and then scroll down again. We don't want, we want to reduce its friction down to about 0 0.1. So it rolls nice and easily. And its bounciness we need to make to 0. And if you scroll down a bit further, it says that its collision shape here is a rectangle. We want to make that a circle. Um, I will just reduce that window. Uh, that's all the physics stuff. And then we'll have a look at some of the attributes of the ball. So we'll go up and grab the touch attribute. So when the ball is touched, it is pressed. It's okay. And then we will grab the, the constrain attribute. Constrain attribute, drag that down into the do. Then we constrain the attribute here of the ball. It's position X. So that's ball position X. Um, to attributes, devices, touches, touch one, X, and that should come up. Click and tick. So self position X, game, touches, touch one, X, and then we need another one for the Y coordinates, I think. So then it's constrain, attributes, ball, position Y, then attributes, devices, touches, touch one, Y, double click, and the tick. Let's see if that works. And I can move an object around the screen and put it wherever I like. That could be a useful skill. But of course, when it is released, when the ball is released, um, we want it to, to move down for gravity to take hold and for it to plummet downwards. So when touch is released, there might be an attribute of accelerate Drop that one in. Accelerate in which direction? Directly down. With an acceleration number of about, about 
800 relative to the scene so it's dropping against the background not to the actor um, and that that should work preview again obviously I've just dragged the actor in um, and I am work, working on the ball instance here not on the prototype I've dragged the actor of the ball into the scene and now I'm editing the ball um, so let's have a look and hopefully that works so I can move it let go gravity takes hold and it disappears to infinity